get organic matter, and that's their task in evolution, in biology, to recycle. Without fungi no plants would grow on earth, outside the water. Zengers. Which is why, if you're growing mushrooms, you put them in a warm, dark place and fill them full of pieces of wood and bits of plants. Dr. Lanka. That's it. It was already known by 1965, definitely that PCP is a fungus. And this was and is the most important AIDS-defining disease. If you look at who comes down with this disease, you see people who are using poppers. What are poppers? Nitrites. And check every dictionary in the bookstore, or the people's medical dictionary. What do nitrites do in the body? They oxidize the blood. That means the blood itself is not able to transport oxygen. So, of course, the first cells to suffer are cells in the lung. Nitrites are transformed immediately into nitric oxide in the smallest capillaries, capillaries, FC of the body. Nitric oxide is produced by the body in very low concentrations, in order to control blood pressure, in order to control development. It has to be detoxified by the body immediately, because in higher concentrations it acts very aggressively, destroying everything. This is why the eating cells of the immune system, the macrophages, are releasing nitric oxide in high quantities in inflammation reactions, to destroy and digest the bacterial cells. So if you take up nitrites regularly, or from time to time, which means huge excessive amounts of nitric oxide are produced, it means you start the self-destroying process in your own body, especially in the lungs. You are destroying your lung tissue, and fungal infections are growing on this dead organic matter. Even so, immune functions are perfect, because these patients do suppress bacterial infections. All those 60 different kinds of lung disease we know by now, all caused by bacterial infections, do not appear, because the immune functions are still well. So we have a direct toxic effect, which may happen even when your detoxification system is not working on a cellular level, because you will suffer malnutrition. PCP can also happen in people who suffer extreme malnutrition, like we've had in Africa. This is the reason why PCP is not part of the AIDS definition in Africa, because we have it in the children who suffer starvation, because the detoxification system of the cells is very weak in children. This is why, in the Middle Ages, when the wells had been poisoned by feces or meat from the civil wars or wars, it was the children who suffered, turning blue, this was called the disease of the blues, when they drank water, because there were a lot of nitrites and nitrates inside, produced by nitrifying bacteria, when the wells had been poisoned, because the detoxification systems of children are very low. This is why the children starving heavily in Africa come down with PCP ever since. I can foresee here and now that people regularly using Viagra will be coming down with Kansas in two to three years because Viagra acts by blocking the neutralization of nitric oxide. When you take Viagra, nitric oxide accumulates, relaxing the smooth muscles that blood is flowing in, the penis is being erected, and our muscles are relaxed. Poppers act by the same mode, because the nitrites are transformed into nitric oxide in the smallest vessels, and so the smallest vessels become relaxed. But whereas poppers directly produce nitric oxide, Viagra works by preventing the neutralization of nitric oxide which comes into existence normally in the process of blood pressure regulation. It constantly persists at a very low level, but if it accumulates you are in a very big danger. So, if the blood is oxidized itself, and the lining of the smallest vessels, the capillaries, i.e. capillaries, FC, is destroyed by nitric oxide, what's going to happen? Those cells will turn into cancer cells. There's a lack of oxygen, and the first cells to suffer this oxygen deficiency are the lining of the epithelium, the smallest vessels, where the nitrites are transformed into nitric oxide. And this is, as a matter of fact, the definition of Kaposi sarcoma. When the lining, the interior of the smallest vessels, develops into cancerous form, growing bigger and multiplying. This is hyperplasia, no a form of sarcoma, but a real form of cancer, and this is defined as Kansas. It can also come into existence, even if you are, not, swallowing poppers, but when your cellular detoxification system is not working anymore. Zengers. So that's your bottom line answer to the question, what is AIDS? 
Dr. Lanka. Yes, AIDS is an energy deficiency problem. The AIDS term is absolutely misleading because it has nothing to do with an immune defect or immune deficiency. It is clear that C are dealing with an energy deficiency, so the term AIDS has to be replaced by the term AIDS acquired energy deficiency syndrome, and we would keep up the term AIDS only in the form of acquired intelligence deficiency syndrome. AIDS has a rational basis, and it is treatable. There are very potent treatment options available to reverse those damages caused by intoxication or lack of oxygen on all various levels. Here also, evolutionary biology helps. Animal beings are not able to produce three major classes of substances, because when they came into existence in the water, these substances were available. This is another aspect of evolution, because they have grown up or developed in a constant milieu where all the essential molecules have been available. Animal beings didn't bother to build up three important groups of molecules on their own, so they have the advantage to use their energy and in order to develop even more quicker. Among these substances animals cannot produce on their own are the polyphenols, which are vitamins. We are aware of 5,000 different kinds of polyphenols produced in herbs, in all plants, but especially in herbs. The higher they grow, the higher they produce polyphenols. You can detect plants in front of radiation. These polyphenols are nature's own protease inhibitors, by the way. Animals are also not able to produce the long-chain sugar molecules which make up the basic tissues that form up to 80% of our body weight. These tissues produce the constant milieu for the cells in the body, and if you don't have them you are going automatically into disease. Every cell is surrounded by these basic tissues, long-chain sugar molecules with proteins attached. All nerve cells and their activating and deactivating all immunological reactions are carried out there. These basic tissues have a quasi-crystalline structure and they work by breaking, oscillating very quickly, several thousand times a second, with a speed all biochemical reactions are triggered, etc., etc. If you don't know how life is working on the cellular level, you're not able to understand cancer. If you don't know how life is organized on the tissue level, you cannot understand life either, right? So if the cell lacks these substances, it cannot maintain its milieu. The surfaces of the cells especially need those long-chain sugar molecules in order to prevent calcium from flowing inside the cell. If those products are not there, calcium is formed inside the cells, killing the cells, resulting in controlled cell death, apoptosis. That means inflammation. Normally you get these substances from plants. In emergency cases, if you are depleted, you get them from bovine cartilage or agar agar, two spoonfuls every morning. With this you can stop all forms of arthritis, by the way, and those molecules are potent protease inhibitors as well. In any case of inflammation or catabolic situation, when you lose more cells than the body is able to reproduce, you go in with this and it's going to help you. The artificial protease inhibitors only help you for short periods. Then they intoxify the cells because the artificial protease inhibitors cannot be digested. The body cannot get rid of them. They form crystals and eventually they intoxify the whole cell and the whole organism on all levels because they prevent the digestion of all the proteins. We have reached the end with the treatments because not only are we deconstructing AIDS and offering another term which everybody is able to handle and be happy with, especially cancer specialists, we are also offering very potent treatment options to replace these very dangerous protease inhibitors. I think that completes the picture of what so-called AIDS really is and what you can do about it.